Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out how does your new and past person feel about you right now. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 11th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 5.26 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and, and Capricorn. If you were the finally guided to watch this video, Video. This message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Their new person's feelings for them right now. We're going to start with the new person and then old person, past person after that, okay? New person's feelings for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Page of Swords and Reverse at the bottom of the deck. New person is about, you know, one year and below, within one year that you've known this person. So we've got the King of Cups right here. So your new person could be a water sign, a, uh, water, I was going to say Aries. No, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Can be any sign, okay? So... Five Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Um, okay, it could go vice versa, but your new person is trying to figure out something, right? Seven of Cups, how they feel about you, or trying to figure out how to... Five of Swords. How to trick you into thinking they feel a certain way when actually they're feeling a certain way. I hope that makes sense. Because the King of Cups, they do have deep emotions for you. But the Seven of Cups makes me feel as though... It's not that they're not sure, because there's a Five of Swords here. That means when Swords are up, there's two Swords that are up here, right? That means they, they are sure, they know, they know. And Five of Swords is a, you know, um, can be a bit of a deceptive energy. So I feel like they do know how they feel about you, which they do have emotions for you or romantic feelings for you. But for some reason, right now they feel like maybe they need to not let you know or not let people know. It could also be them deceiving themselves or trying to deceive themselves. Okay, it could be them feeling like I do have feelings for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I don't, I don't want to admit that. Okay, it could mean that this is a new person. Okay, Page of Swords in Reverse, the Fool in Reverse, Four Swords. So they they've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking whether the yeah. So they don't want to made be made a fool. Uh, in Page of Cups in Reverse, because maybe this is very new. Because Page can indicate new, young. Okay. May or may not be younger than you are. The King of Cups here. The, your new person appears to be a king and a page. So it could be older, it could be the same age, could be younger, it doesn't matter. But it just feels like they don't want to look like a fool by expressing to you how they feel or by acknowledging how they feel for you, which is, again, there are romantic feelings. Um... For you and for swords, they've been thinking a lot. So this is also a very passive energy. So they could be feeling like, let me take a step back. Let me, you know, not say anything, not do anything right now. Because maybe it's still too early on in the game. And the fool will first. They don't want to look like a fool. Don't want to take unnecessary risks. Okay. A six of Pentacles, he's the Rose and Five of Pentacles. They kind of feel like this is not equal, okay? Maybe they have more feelings for you than you do have. Um, it could be 
them having more feelings for you than you have feelings for them. Like, it's not equal, because the Six of Pentacles, if you look at it, there's a weighing scale here, right? And it's similar for, so it's not balanced. It could be them, like, wondering how you feel for them. They're not sure yet how you feel for them, so they're not going to tell you unless they know. And we've got the Six of Cups here more first, and we've got the Eight of Swords here more first, because they don't want to repeat something from the past. Something from their past that it took them a while to release. And the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, and Love Verse. Again, your new person could be a Libra, Gemini, Chris. So look, Queen of Cups here is in Love Verse. So this is a pair. And especially if you're the, again, I, I, I explained this many times. We have both masculine and feminine energy. But I feel like the feminine one in Love Verse, that means... The masculine one thinks that the feminine one isn't, doesn't feel the same way for them or not as much, okay? Again, it's not equal. Hmm. It's like as much as they would like to move faster, would like this connection to move, move faster, they know they need to be the page of swords of reverse, that they need to just you know, wait, watch, and see first. And with the Five of Pentacles, yeah. They feel there's something lacking. I feel like maybe this, the, the one thing that is lacking is how how you feel for them, how it's not equal. Um, again, roles can be reversed, okay? But I feel like they're kind of angry to not of sorts, or that they could be feeling you're angry with them. That's just for some of you, if recently you had a little bit of an altercation with your new person or a misunderstanding. That's just for some of you, not all of you. If it's not that, the not of swords just indicates them feeling like, I, 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 I want this to move faster, but I don't think I can because I don't think uh, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn feel the same way for me, okay? Hmm. This is your new person's feelings. We're going to find out next your past person's feelings for you. I've already shuffled this deck thoroughly. I only do shuffling, like, I, I, sh <laughs> I mean, while I'm recording. Usually, before I record, I usually already shuffle all of the decks. Um, except for on when I go live, that's when you're going to see me really, really shuffling. Because, you know. I'm going to be doing so many readings, but usually for a pre-recorded reading, I've already shuffled it. But anyway, I'm going to ask your past person now, Spirits and Angels, for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, your past person, how do, how do you feel about them? purposely use my vintage tarot deck for a past person because it's old. <laughs> I mean, this this is not a, an old deck, but it's called a vintage tarot or something. <laughs> Two ones at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. You know, these cards want to jump out, so I'll just take it. Um, hmm. Your past person is still very much connected to you with the devil. Past person means you're already separated, okay? And then we've got the strength here. Your past person could be a Capricorn, could be a, a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, Aries, strong Aries, strong fire I'm seeing here. Could also be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, can be any fixed signs. Can also be a Libra, Gemini, Christ, can be any sign, doesn't matter, okay? So we've got the King of Cups and Red Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. Your past person is still hurt still going through uh, pain, but Seven of Swords, they don't want you to know. Why do you keep dealing with people like that who don't want you to know how they feel? <laughs> it could also mean um, that this person, your past person, is kind of like in denial or running away. Could be a runner, okay? 
and King of Cups here in my first. Yep, running away from their feelings. Don't really want to acknowledge right now how they feel, which is sadness, pain. Because they're holding back the strength. You, Your past person may have an ego, okay? Ten of Cups. But they still have passion for you. Your past person still has passion for you. And really would like to see you again. Really would like to reconcile with you. Then we've got the page of wands here on first. They're holding back from talking to you. Uh, three of cups and one first, the devil. So even though there's someone from your past, um, may still feel very much connected to you, okay? Very, very much connected to you. Still obsessive over you, still wants you, still desires you. But three of cups and one first, maybe they feel like not such a good idea to reconcile right now, to talk about reconciliation. They could also feel like maybe this connection is toxic in some way, shape, or form. And for some of you, if you have a child or children or family with this person, they may feel like, okay, I still need to be connected to earth signs because of our children or something that could still... Um, it, could, it could just be energetically connected if you don't have children or family or something that you share together or pets, okay? But if you do share pets, children, something together where you still have to constantly communicate with each other, then they feel like, okay, um, we'll have to continuously be connected, but I'm going to hold back from, you know, taking actions towards Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, towards also reconciliation. Actually, even though this is your past person, they want to be with you, okay? They want to reconcile with you. They want to be reconciled with you. And the world here, Ace of Cups and the Fool. Yeah. I do see them longing for you. I see them hoping as well that one day maybe both of you would start, restart this connection, take a new leap of faith, the world here again is a new start to start a new chapter with you six of swords they feel like they would like to move uh, towards karma water with you but two of wands your um past person is indecisive right indecisive uh, pentacles again this card came out so uh, it feels like your past person misses you misses you for sure nine of pentacles in reverse because they feel like there's something that both of you used to do together it's like there's some codependency in any partnership you know like it or not we are gonna be somewhat you know when we're so used to doing things with this person um could be anything cooking together or going shopping together or could be some anything that both of you are used to doing things together i feel like they miss that and also they feel like um sometimes like oh, i'd be nice if you know, our signs are here with me and that I can do this with them. It's it's nicer doing it with them because I'm used to it. It's better because both of you, you know, are, are so used to doing it together, right? So something along those lines that I feel like a past person could be missing that part. So two of wands, you know, they're not sure whether they should express to you how they feel, um, whether they should reconcile with you. But Seven of Swords, they're still interested, yeah? If you're wondering, hey, does my past person still want to be with me? Do they still Are they still interested in me? Do they still want to find out about me, how I'm, how I'm doing? Yes, the answer is yes, okay? See, the devil here, again, they're very much still connected to you. Hmm. For some of you, if you already started a new connection elsewhere, they may feel like, okay, maybe you're done. You've liberated yourself from them. And that, you know, you started something else somewhere else. But they still wish, they still wish with the two of wands that there could be in the future something. Ten of cups that may be hoping that both of you could uh, get back together and reconcile. They're still not healed yet, by the way, three of swords, yeah. Still not healed from um, the separation. This is your past person. You know, the past person, it doesn't matter how long ago, okay, that's how I feel. Um, some of you, this could be someone very long time ago, okay, from very, very long time ago. But this could also be someone like a recent one, a recent breakup. Hmm. 
Let's just see a little bit more. Your past person here, okay. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. See, there are three Aces here. So they feel like they would actually want a new start with you, a new beginning um, that is successful. Eight of Swords and Love First. There's, mm, they still think about you. And then again, now Pentacles and Love First. There's something your past person wants to talk to you about that I feel, again, strength here. Definitely holding back from it, from talking to you. Maybe to offer you a new beginning here. But I don't see them doing it because the strength, at least not right now, because they're definitely holding back, right? They may also feel like, ah, oh, maybe it's a bad idea, feeling very pessimistic about it with the devil in reverse, I mean, in an upright position. There's something in the past that they feel they're not sure whether to repeat it um, because it might be toxic, it might be unhealthy. But deep down, you know, they really would like to have this new start with you. So many cards that indicate a new start. It could be them feeling like they want to have a new start with you or that they feel you already have a new start on your own, that they should hold back from disrupting, disrupting it, hold back from, you know, expressing to you how they feel and just wait to a wands. Yeah, all right, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live. You know, I post your video every single day. There are so many complaints that um, they don't see my videos appear, like 50% of you <clears throat> don't see that, don't see my videos on your news feed or um, it's not being recommended to you even though you subscribe. So make sure that you subscribe, but, um, and make sure you check back, check back, uh, on my channel because I post every single day, yeah, even a couple of times a day. So don't, if you don't want to miss any of the videos, make sure that you check back, um, check my, check back on my channel, <laughs> to my channel. Okay, I don't know how to say that, but anyway, um, yeah, because I heard that, this has happened, I've already said this in my previous video, but um, a lot of YouTubers are affected by this because YouTube now wants us content creators to, to pay for promotion. So they limit the views, so they don't suggest it or that they don't show it on a news feed, they don't notify you. So the views, this is the reason why the views have gone down significantly, not just for me, not just to me, but so many other YouTubers. I've actually posted a video from another channel um, on my community page if you, want, if you want to check it out. But in any case, make sure you check back uh, Chelsea Love Tarot if you don't want to miss any of my readings, any of my videos for you, all right? Anyway, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.